Hi, I'm Stephanie with Board Game Geek here at Origins 2017, and we have some great people from Greater Than Games uh, and Dice Hate Me Games, which is a part of Greater Than Games, joining us. We have Mara, Mara Johannes. Yep, Johannes Graham. Johannes Graham, sorry, Johannes Graham. <laughs> I want to keep wanting to say Johannes. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, Johannes Graham, and uh, Chris Kirkman. And they're going to show off Laser Riders first. So um, this already looks cool. Uh, laser riders and I just want to show this before we start talking about the game so obviously it's super rad <laughs> and um, has these cool uh, VHS tape style characters that are all in here and we'll show you some of the art from those in a second but why don't you guys talk about laser riders so laser riders is a light cycle racing game based on a love of Tron and, and similar to X-Wing yeah I'm sure people are just looking at this and going Tron, <laughs> yeah, Tron. Yeah. <laughs> so you're racing through space to try and capture prisms that are thrown randomly out on the board mm -hmm. and the first person to capture three prisms is the winner of the game to play the game you need to be able to do straight straight <coughs> pieces that you're racing off into space um, which is a five you don't need to roll the dice however if you're going to try and attempt to turn you need to roll the die and you need to say if I was going to do a three I would have to do a three or better and roll and I actually did and that's you did amazing. yeah that's good <laughs> the dice don't hit you they don't hit you <laughs> so then you would be able to place that right it would be to place that now however if I did not get the three I would then have to take this away and use a straight three and maybe go speeding off in the wrong direction oh, yeah. so so you weren't able to turn. I wasn't able to turn. Too fast, yeah. There is, this is a six-sided die, but one of the sides has this little spin-out character on it, and if I hit that one, I still can make the turn, but I spin out, and I have to go back down to gear one and start from there again. Okay, yeah, and you can see these uh, standees here have a track on them, so that's what gear that you're currently yeah. in. Um, so you would have to go to gear one. And then what will you do if you're in gear one? Can you only go, you're just really slow? So you can or? go, yeah, you go really slow, but you can go each turn, you can go up or down one gear. So there you can go. technically go So you up. can go, I'm going to try and go two. Right. Yeah, gear up. Cool, yeah. yeah. And gear when up. you start the game, you kind of blindly are trying to figure out where you want to place it to try and line up with the prisms. So this will go on the edge of the, your Correct. table, your yes. play space. Yeah. Um, so we have ours kind of in a little bit so that the overhead camera can see it. But yeah, you this would go on the edge of your Correct. defined play space, and then you can start from there. Yep, so you might want to go, how am I going to, yep. if you're setting up, maybe you don't have this yet, you're like, I think I could angle that and hit that prism, you know, so then, then maybe you kind of try and go for that. Yeah, and you can play off of any one of the sides too. Oh, so. And then while cool. you're setting up, while you're doing this, you're also going to hold up what gear you want to start off in. And if you and someone else at the table hold up the same gear, you both have to start in one. Mm, yeah. Okay, so you might go, I'm going to go quick. I'm gonna go five, and then someone else holds out five. You're like, oh no, no you both. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You both, you both gotta go for one. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so you're going for these prisms. So inevitably, these are going to run into things that aren't prisms, Absolutely. like each other. So what happens then? So here comes the next bit of it. Uh, when you are when you're trying to both race towards that, and you accidentally run into one another. The point of impact of the person hitting the other person is where they. So let's say, so yeah, let's, let's say my laser hit here, here for you. You would lose this bit from down. However, I, my entire track would explode into space. Because you hit me. Correct. Yeah. Because yeah. it's your poor planning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I'm, would kind of obliterate, go back into your stack, uh -huh. and you'd have an actual gap. So people could race through that gap. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So how do I do? I start a new, or do I? Can I try? Well, you're going to continue back? racing yeah. with I this one. So you could even there. put that one out front here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it can be it. can be a strategic move too, because then you regain pieces of that size that right. you might need. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. guess so. you can't play them if you don't have them. Right. It's a limited amount Limited of pool, yep. yep. So that's cool. So so being hit isn't that bad. Not terrible. Okay. Well. <laughs> it can be bad, but it can be also a strategic it, move. And it so. also can be fun. Yeah. So each of these four uh, VHS style. Uh, containers are a different character, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. So, who do we have here? Who is this? This is Phantom Cosmonaut. Phantom Cosmonaut. And that and is Super one, Sheriff. Super Sheriff. So, we also have Laser Shark. So, I just, I want to pull that one out <laughs> for sure. So there's Laser Shark here. Let's actually just look at all of these other ones. Beautiful art. Who did the art on this? Blood and Chrome. <laughs> cool. Yeah, great name, right? Yeah. I don't know their real name, but Blood and Chrome. Galactic Wave Rider. Galactic Wave Rider, yes. So something to make note of too is that they're, they're all they, different. They're all different characters, but when you pull out your tray, actually all of your pieces 
Normally, we normally. Play. we've run them all we've been, quickly. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've been playing yeah. around with it, but they all fit in here, and yeah. then you just sort off like your little VHS. Yeah, tape. you just put it in there once you're done watching that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what color the shark is. Okay, so it's like a deep red, blood red. Blood yeah. red. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to have that in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So those are the cool. Those are the different characters. And um, they, and you had mentioned. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say they all have special abilities that you can use yep. in the advanced game. That's just what I was going to ask about. Yeah, good segue. You've been doing this before. Hey. <laughs> Not my first just Yeah. <laughs> so, um, on these other prismatic cool pieces, there are some special abilities and each of them are different. Right, there's the characters. different characters. Yeah. Yeah. So, for um, Phantom, you cannot crash this turn, skip the crash phase of your turn. So how do they activate these? Like for Phantom Cosmonaut. Yeah. So Just like if the Phantom Cosmonaut was running along here and was about to go through this and put down the two and would cross that, you just flip it over and he's like, oh, too bad. Nope. I'm a ghost. Nope. Yep. So. Okay. So nothing would happen to this. Nope. It's just like as if it doesn't even exist. Rider. It just passes yeah. right underneath. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And you can do that even before. You don't have to declare that. You could just go. You could go. Oh, I messed I'm up, and then you flip probably it. Probably gonna go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you're just like, nope, that's not gonna crash. Awesome. So what are some of the other abilities that the other characters have? Um. So we've got Super Sheriff. Super Sheriff. He's is he gonna arrest people or? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find these right off the bat. There's a blood red one. Yes. You might, oh, Did they all disappear? They are MIA. I was going to say. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, there's. No, nope, they're there's all mixed there. together. Oh, and I'm, I'm messing up it's, everything. It's the advanced ones. You might have them back again. Oh, there we go. Instead of placing your normal laser piece, you may instead place two hard turn laser pieces of your current gear without rolling to turn. Wow. It's very flexible cool. with its movements and things. I mean, that's the Galactic Wavebrider, yeah. so that makes sense. He's going to like super hand turn yeah. on the lasers. So let's be, say, for example, I was able to capture one of these these prisms. Okay. I would have to go clear through it. If I accidentally hit it off to the side like this, then I just accidentally bump it into space, and it goes floating off to the side. And you don't get to. This is not a miniatures war game. You don't get to measure, right? No, you no, no. Have to kind of there are no like tape them. measures yeah, involved so with this. Yeah. So if you think uh, that's probably gonna do it, and then no, nope. nope. that's not <laughs> yeah. it doesn't go clear through. Now, if it does go clear through, then you replace this with your color prism. Oh, okay. Take that out, That's goes to the for. front of your line. And then you, if you do crash later on, that prism stays there, but people can try and steal that from you. And they go can straight steal through it. it. It's a safe zone. Yep, oh, they can go man. right through it and steal it right from you. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Um, there's also this, I don't know if you can see, but this die is totally far out. It's all sparkly and galactic and black. Yeah, and, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that looks yeah. really, really, yeah. really cool. Um, is this the only this the only one you need in the yeah, game? That's right? the only Just one, one you need. Guy? That's cool. What are some of these things? Is this like so? This is the turn order here. Okay, there so you go. So I, I have each each turn is based on the speed that you're at. So say you were at level five mm -hmm. speed, then you would be first, and oh, so on and so forth. So it adjusts. Yeah. Yep. And okay. if there's a tie, whoever is closest to the tie to the left is the tiebreaker. So if you both were in gear three, then gotcha. the closest person would be oh, okay. going next. So cool. So yeah. I just love these pieces. They look. They're completely awesome. awesome. I saw it in prototype form. You yeah, were there right? when it was signed. I was, I was there when it was signed. <laughs> yes, yeah. you were. <laughs> um, so I got to play with just little pieces <laughs> that yeah. weren't this cool. They were still pretty cool. Um, they were they still pretty cool. cool, but yeah. they weren't this cool. And we didn't have the character names yet, but we did start talking about some fun character ideas. And Anthony and Cole like had the ideas in place, yeah, yeah absolutely. I but think, yeah, I think we knew right off the bat that it was going to be something yeah. Yeah. really cool. I, I mean, well, the thing is, is like I had seen it on the table. You were playing. I came up when you were playing. You had to go to the bathroom and said, take over. <laughs> and I took over and I played one round and I said, yep, Anthony. So, and like Nicole, 10% we'll royalty for me? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. We'll add, a, we'll add, right. we'll add an extra zero to the front of your check. <laughs> 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 I mean, you can add it to the back. It doesn't matter. Right? Well, that's yeah, that's true. Front or back. It's interchangeable. <laughs> awesome. So can you get laser riders right now? I mean, it's in pre-order right now. It's coming in a couple weeks. Awesome. Okay. So a couple weeks. So that definitely by July yes. uh, 2017, people have that and you'll have it at Gen, Gen Con. Con. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, that is laser riders.